What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We're doing another Peasant Cube draft here on Magic Gathering Online. I was just talking about uh, our move that's coming up this Friday, Saturday. I keep saying Friday because that's when it feels like it's done. Um, so the movers get here at 10 a.m. on Friday. I got. I hate, I hate that it doesn't. Um, they pack up all the stuff. Um, Kerwit doesn't get here until 8 p.m. to help us drive the truck. So like, and then we don't leave until the next day on Saturday morning. But like, it's funny because between 10 a.m. on Friday and and Saturday morning, I just have nothing to do. I'll have no nothing in this room. I'll have like a couch to sleep on. I'll have my iPad and my phone. So I'm just probably gonna be binging uh, Mad Men all day until I until I leave because I've been I've been watching Mad Men for like the third time. Hello, Golden Goose. Do we just go Hondens? Kurt wanted Hondens. I think Hondens might not be good. Wow. Okay. I see. I'll just take soul manipulation. Really? Mm-hmm. Wow. I think the card's great. You suck. Wow. Snapped it off. <laughs> Kerwit is helping me. Kerwit uh, offered to fly down here. So I'm picking him up at 8, 8 10 on, on, on Friday. And he was going to help us drive the truck down to, to, to Denver to help us move. So. Have Mike B be your shadow guru. He literally could be. It's wild. Um, this guy's really good too, right? Of course Hondens aren't going to be good. That's not the point. <laughs> yeah, no one's like, tier one Hondens, boy. How much that thing cost? Six. Seven. Seven. Shit, I thought it was six. It's still good. It's got hexproof. I thought it cost way more. We're good. Oh, wow. Okay. And he's triple green, but... <laughs> so, you know, that's different, though. No, that's funny. It's a much different caliber of picture. That is insane. <laughs> why? Well, but why, Elkateers? I like Golgari's signet. Do they like you back? I don't know, Michael. Let me ask you. Bottom? Hey, Golgari Signet, do you like me back? Oh, it didn't respond because it's a fucking digital magic card, Michael. What about Edge of Autumn? What? Edge of Autumn is trash. Why? Why is it worse than Signet? Why is it worse than Signet? Because mm -hmm. if you have five, five lands, you don't get to search. You have to sacrifice a land if you want to do anything with this card. And okay. it just cycles. Like, It's a far seek that you can't actually utilize before, b beyond turn four. I just got destroyed by Plated Crusher. This cube is giving me fits. <laughs> oh, Scaled Behemoth and Plated Crusher? Oh, okay. tears. I like how you're moving from New York City to L.A. It literally... Are you guys moving to L.A.? Why don't, why don't we know that? Cities. Is this literally how you just announced to us that you're moving to L.A.? I assume it's like a future thing. Well, yes, Michael. It can't be a present or a past thing. Well, I mean, like... <laughs> I assume, like, down the line... In a significant amount of time. A down the line, a significant amount of time. He's like, nah, we're moving tomorrow, boy. Oh, Ridgekill Tusker? So we're just taking all the winners? Come on, Hondens. <coughs> Mike, did you get the job? I did, in fact, get the job. It is sweet. And he's making $14,000 an hour. It's pretty insane. Michael's going to buy us a mansion. <laughs> it sure feels like it. Moan of the Unhallowed? Fuck yeah, Moan. This black green deck's looking spicy, boy. Oh, I didn't know this was in here. Oh, I love it. All right, well, I'm just going to take Celestia. Second. Also, Frank and Mike, can I give a uh, Kerwit a huge shout-out for being a hero in our charity stream last night, major donations, and also our latest mod? How was Kerwit not a mod previously? That seems insulting. But also, yes, of course. Uh, While moving is like a way in the future thing. Yeah, see, I was right. How how way in the future are we talking? Like a month? A few weeks? August? A month at, at most. What does Dan's have in L.A.? I mean, I know you have L.A. things because of movies and, 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 and LaFoe, but...
Would y'all ever want to do unemployment? What, is, what, what does that mean? I don't even know what that means. Hey, man, you want to go do unemployment? <laughs> what is it? Yeah, what does that mean? Like, do I want to not have a job and get paid less and have to? No. Unless it was, like, real good. I don't know. Also, can't you not do unemployment forever? Dan says, I'm just kind of tired of living in NYC. Yeah, it's nice to switch it up. New York is New York is exhausting. It's a very intense place from what I hear. No, people live in houses. It's not intense, Michael. How does Katie feel about having a stepson? Wow. She approves of him. For now. ACS Popple is right, buddy. They move in smart. <laughs> Smarch is a good model. I'm going to take this regrowth. You know why? Because fuck your edge bottom. That's why. So hostile. Costal? Said hostile. Pentecostal? Yeah. Nice. See, this is what I mean. Look at ASAS Popple back again. God, Affinity is like a... I, I actually feel like... It is. NYC is a lot of work. A house that is like 20 mm. feet wide cost about the same as South Dakota. <laughs> well, LA is not cheap either. I mean, LA is a pretty expensive town. You get 1100 a week? Good lord, man. For unemployment? I've never been able to sign up for unemployment because I'm an independent contractor, so. Unless, Matt, are you getting unemployment? I thought you were also an independent contractor. Thank you. Dennis, thank you so much for the resub. It would have been nice to play some Magic while you've been in the top, but I guess 2020 and other points. Buddy, you ain't kidding, dude. I was talking yeah, about that with Jake last night. To, yeah, we, same thing. Yeah. I'm like, right. I made it to the store like one time before COVID. And like, it just sucks because my entire like experience here in. I spent a decent chunk of change making some commander decks and I didn't, I get to play them once. Like, <laughs> sweet. Like, cool. I get to live with a person who owns a magic shop. This is going to be so much fun. Never get to go. Dan's Matt, can you guys. Give me a link of some sort. <coughs> okay. Yeah. Wow. Mystic Genesis last pick. Jeez. These people got no respect. Freelancers now qualify. That's how Dan's and I are getting it. Send me a link and a message. Because I'd love to chat with you guys about it. Because I've actually never qualified for unemployment in my life, even when I was let go from jobs or, you know. It's certainly not easy to get. Maybe it's easier right now, though. I mean, I do like a Mystic Genesis. I don't know if, like, I don't know if it's good in a move in a blue. Control Magic's good. This Great Oak Guardian's pretty good. Tristani Summoner is not bad. I, I feel like we can actually play this with. Orzov Signet, Golgari Signet, Celestia Signet. I kind of just want to take that, but it might come back. Yeah, that'll probably table. It's green white. I'm going to take this Great Oak Guardian. This guy's bonkers, right? <laughs> Katie says, y'all want to do some unemployment under the bleachers? <laughs> <laughs> Katie, that's inappropriate. I want to take Dismember. She's being inappropriate. Abzan Charm? Okay. Oh, I like Vampire Sovereign, too, though. Yeah, I'll just take Sovereign. Yeah, I guess. I don't really want to splash color if we don't need to. Well, I'm going to play that Tristani's Tristani's. going to play that Tristani's Tristratis. Trist... What? Oh, wow. That's real good. <laughs> Super true. I'm an inappropriate lady. Babe, I know. You ain't kidding. Also, if I was to file for unemployment, like, what, where would I file through? Like, Denver, which I will be living next week, Utah, which I've lived for four months, or... Florida. I don't know. I don't even know which state to file under. Probably not Florida. 
Mike took my bee hole under the bleachers. Wow. <laughs> Holy God. You can't stream if you file for unemployment? What? How does that work? Yeah, that seems weird. How would they even enforce that? That's what I mean. It's just super confusing for, like, someone who, like... For an independent contractor who, like, has to do his own things, like, it's just super confusing. I like Spider. I also like Armament Corpse. Corpse! Armament Corpse! You know, if we're gonna play white, I think Corpse is better. Okay, well. This guy blocks flyers, Michael. Yeah, but that other guy attack, and he give you the buff buff. If you're still making money, they'll deny the claim. Interesting. Wait, but doesn't Dan still stream? Jungle Hollow seems good. Sorry to hear that, man. Hope you get better. That's my old buddy, Kuji. You know Kuji? You apply in a state where you were laid off, not sure about freelance. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, as a freelancer, like... It's another government I'm not employed you in any state. Right, benefits. exactly. <laughs> it's like that feeling the first time you taxes, you're just like, oh, what, what do you mean? It's like, hey, yeah, I, got, I better call Scooby-Doo, I guess, to figure out how the fuck I file for anything. I remember, like, a couple years ago when I applied for f food stamps, it was kind of a nightmare too i mean i had an issue with a previous employer once and i tried to figure out where i could look into legal action and i had no idea what to do because i didn't know if it was the state they were in the state i was in i had moved so i was like i wasn't sure if it was like my previous state or my current state like it's all just super fucking convoluted man basically it's where you were living just got to talk to an attorney in a state. Hmm. Man, who's got the time? Are you okay, man? Unemployed people usually do. Touche. Touche. <coughs> Father needs a caffeinated beverage. All right. Well, after this, I'm going to pause it because I got to go to the bathroom. So, Father can go to another Dr. Pepper because he's clearly a fucking addict now. I want like an actual coffee. Didn't you already have a coffee today? Yeah. So, you need a second coffee. I think so. Along with the Dr. Pepper. Uh huh. Huh. You may have a problem. <laughs> you may. You may. I got money on my Starbucks card, though. Oh, well, that's good. Thank goodness you're not fucking snap one off. Yeah, it's not like you didn't pay for that though. I don't know how to. <laughs> it's like I technically have a freebie up, but only for hot coffee, which is kind of bad value. It's weird. Hot coffees are less stars. Hot coffee, and check in and see. It's only like fifty for a hot coffee, but for a, a custom drink, it's like one fifty stars. I should have had more K cups. That would be much more effective. But I guess either way, I'd have to go somewhere. I don't know. It's a whole to do. Is it Celestia or is it in Tumor? It makes me want to message the Utah chat and be like, hey, you guys got any K cups? I could borrow a K cup. I'm just going to do it because you're being ridiculous. I was going to do it. Hot blooded, check it and see. I need some coffee for Michael B. This is this is a yeah, hot coffee's not terrible though. Dual land. I found it recently. Reward. Starbucks rewards expire. Yeah, but not for like a long time. Skull profit. Arborback stomper.
Katie, did you leave? Or are you just... Are you packing boxes? What's happening right now? Swipe left for a lawyer. Solid. Second coffee. I'm already on my third full mug, and I woke up like six hours ago. God dang. She is packing. Okay, take it easy. Take it easy. No need to get excited. Go on Orzal Basilica or search tomorrow. Their star prices are dictated by products. Or just ignore what I'm saying. And what was your question? Doesn't matter. I don't care. I'll just go. Do you want to take the Basilica or the search for tomorrow? There you go. Mean? It's like you did hear me. Well, I heard half of it. Yeah, it was the whole thing. Um, I think search is better because it can technically provide a third color. So can this. This is two colors, man. I said a third color. Frank. This is two colors. That's not three. That's still two. I have a force in play at the time. <laughs> I don't know what your problem is. Take whatever you want, man. Why, why even ask me? Because I don't want more playables. I'm already at 23, so like I kind of want to... Oh, okay. That's fair. I don't need more playables. I kind of want this Palaka Worm, though, just because I think it's better than Angler. It's 100%. Angler's trash. Angler is trash. Unless you can effectively play him for like three mana, Angler is not good. Plus, Basilica is nice because it gives us another way of white, and we have like one, two, three white cards we want to want to splash here yeah this the, the star prices for starbucks i mean it's not the greatest the star system, prices but it's like you kind of get a free drink every 10 or 12 drinks kind of which is yeah it's okay there's a bunch feel free to pick one coffee's on the top shelf tea cooking ciders or things in the bottom milk shelf. you gonna talk trash about me I said he's Jones and I need some caffeine. I didn't say anything that wasn't true, you addict. Guys, how much would you pay for Michael to eat this either either a ranch from McDonald's or a marinara from Burger King? Why not both? Okay, we can mix them. And, one at a time, whatever you guys want. And and it's up to you. Depends on what what what's the what's your price. I hate this. <laughs> I hate having to give a price. Well, Michael, it's all yours. You know, this is it's, it's your. It's 50, your life. Fifty bucks if he eats both, and the packages too. Okay, what? I'm, I can't eat plastic, Hostmania. Is it Conclave Cavalier or is it Vital Splicer or Beast? Hey guys, what? Angel? I'll put, I'll put my thing in the chat. <laughs> If he eats it through his eyes, that's not possible, Arctic Avenger. <laughs> well, maybe you're just not trying. Don't put your thing in the chat because we're going to split it, bro. I'm okay. I'm your manager here. S split it? It's a hefty cut, man. Well, if it's 100 bucks, then we each get 50. Is that worth it? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I'm just saying managers get like 18%, bro. Yeah. Well, you're welcome. Got him. You guys have the next, uh, how much time should we give them for the donations? As long as they want, man. <laughs> I'm not yeah, but at what point is it is it starting to devalue your donations if we run it too long? If you're only getting half. Well, once we hit a hundred bucks, like it's only a hundred bucks, right? I give you fifty. Oh, you want to do the cap hundred? What? That's the goal you want to do. A hundred. It's up to you, man. You're drinking it. How do you guys feel? Put it in the chat. <laughs> Managers get eighteen percent. <laughs> Frank takes fifty percent. Frank, you're welcome. <laughs> Hey, well, guys, you just donate, and we'll figure it out. That doesn't make any sense. It's going to happen. Look, it's not, not going to not happen. I'll do it. I'll commit to doing it. Guys, it's not even the same brand. You're not even getting a, a McDonald's ranch and a McDonald's marinara, because that's not a thing. You're getting two different brands here. some water? Not enough. This oh, also, also, look, it do. contains egg and milk. Can you imagine? And the marinara also says it contains milk, which is kind of weird, I'll be honest with you. Hot blooded is Michael B. Living in the trash can, just wait and see. What if he snorts it? Oh well, my god. I mean, that's a choice he has, you know? <clears throat> oh my god, I wanted this Conclave Cavalier and it just came back. I and mean, that guy's good. Good lord, this deck is decent. As a viewer, I find having limited short term goals often is a good way to milk viewers like me for money. I don't mind being milked either. <laughs> <laughs> I I have money, Greg. Can you milk me? Yeah, let's take Spider out. Actually, Kyrie is probably a little too prohibitive on cost, I think. 
Are you good? Four mana create a one one. You need a Urian companion for this deck? Yeah, that'd be pretty good. I was thinking that too, because I was like, I could easily play 60. I think this looks good. 12 creatures, but we also have Moan, which is a creature. Back for more, which gets... Oh, you have my elders in here? You suck. Get out of here, yes. Right, you guys are making all the suggestions, but I, I ain't seeing the moolah. Wow. Once he got that once he got that uh, that pricey offer from the job, now he's just like... Now he's just feeding I'm low money. It. Yeah. No, now he's just like, give me, give me the money. You cut the Hon you can't cut the Honden. Yes, I can. Wow, how dare I you! I didn't get any other Hondens. How dare you! Did you just betrayed Kerwit. I didn't get any Hondens. He's hungry and not for the sauce. It's Again, true. I will split everything, with Frank. So, guys, if you act soon, we can throw in a Chick Fil A sauce. Yeah, That's we'll mix it all together if you want. Oh, it'll be delicious. Might have to go get a There's also a couple it. barbecue sauces back there too. If yeah, we can we can add. What if you butt chug it, Michael? <laughs> we don't have the equipment for that. You just make the equipment, man. Don't be a baby. We'll get a bowl, we'll mix it together, and I'll eat it by the spoonful. Disgusting. You don't have to pay me to drink uh, McDonald's ranch. I basically do that once a week. Wow. Yikes. Katie, you like McDonald's ranch? Oh man. Katie actually loves mediocre food. Low tier ranch. Yeah, like not like it's not like. No, I like mediocre food too. I just think their ranch is really like it's just not one of good. her favorite things. Like just like guilty pleasure food is just like one of her favorite. No, like things. I love McDonald's. I just I just think the ranch is real bad. I'm at Sonic. I'm getting a peanut butter Oreo shake. Shake. So get wrecked. Wow, that shakes. sounds amazing. I'm getting a shakes. Ranch is gross. Well, I think bad ranch is gross, but there's definitely a good ranch out there. We have no saprolings. So this guy's just kind of. What weird about in the deck. schmocking it? What's schmocking it mean? I assume you mean smoking. I don't know how we do that. <coughs> no, smock it. Get like into shape. Like a smock. Shape like it, wear it up. It? I can just wear it on my chest. Do whatever you want with it, man. I'm not your dad. I'm not your smock daddy. You're okay? I feel yeah. like you're every every second you're one step closer to exploding. And I'm about to break. So so far, guys, we've got four sauces. We got ranch, Chick-fil-A, marinara, and barbecue all mixed together. And I'll eat it all. Gross. Guys, you can witness history right here. But I will not do it for free. Oh, we were supposed to do something between drafting around one. Damn it. Wait, we were? Yeah, go get drinks and bathroom. Oh, I guess we'll do that next round. All right. Just don't forget. Oh, we're playing against Flying Spaghetti. Spaghetti. Do we have any donations towards this? Not yet. No one has no one has donated yet. They're Everything lost. Everything you say to me takes me one step closer to the edge. And I'm about to break. Mike, go pee for Frank. <laughs> yes, please. Pee for me, Michael. It's call it mutual sauce. What if it? What if it's amazing? What if you're like, this is delicious, and I just need to do this all the time? I'll put down twenty if you snort at least one of them, like the whole thing. Also, like it's thick. It's not gonna Shut go through a straw, man. One creamy ranch bug. All right, we got one dollar so far. All right, I'm gonna keep track of it over here, guys. One dollar. Look at this penumbra spider. One, two, three, four, five. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. I don't think it's actually physical possible to snort one of these sauces. It's not physical possible. Physical possible. I need the bonus. Don't kill the man. Wow. <laughs> the real isn't. He's gotten me hired. He just wants that sweet bonus. Can't blame him though. I'm like, I guess we could call it that. Do you even have a straw? What if I snort a little bit of it? God, he's really considering it? Wild. Not a whole not the whole thing, but I could do a line. <laughs> We're getting buck wild tonight. 
Boy, aren't we. We have a good time. I feel like the viewers want it, so you know. <laughs> That's funny because we're the ones who suggested it. Yeah, it was kind of a total meme, but people seem to be behind it. You think you think that about everything? Yet they still don't give you enough to get your hair shaved, Michael. Oh, they're close though. Well, only fifty more bones, and I'll do it. I'm at eighty-five. Eighty-five. Look at that vampire. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I kind of just want to play Moan again, but we're going to trade. I don't think we're trading, actually. Yeah, I didn't think we were doing that. Um... Don't T and C yourself, Michael. What's T and C mean? Okay, this is really hard because signets are annoying. How about a double wham? Okay, okay. Mike there shaves his head, mixes the hair with the sauce, and then <laughs> snorts that. Wow, okay. it's like hair cake all over that's, again. Uh, that's a little bit above my goal. All right, that actually made me gag a little. <laughs> yeah. I just want to gag a little. Gag a little gag. It's got, what we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. So we can actually play both of them. We can just play Behemoth this turn and play both of these guys next turn, which is pretty ridiculous. Can you chase the ranch with some tequila? We do not have any tequila on hand and it is impossible to buy it in our current city. So You no. can't buy tequila in... Nope. Why? Hard liquor isn't a thing in this town. Are you serious? Yep. What? This is America, mm -hmm. Michael. Yeah, that's why. Because of our stupid Christian values of certain states. This is America! You can double check in the Utah chat, but I'm pretty sure that's true. Utah is not America. <laughs> wow. That's messed up. Why would it be against in terms of service to to drink sauce. I don't think that's... If I think if he butt chugs it, it's going to be. Well, yeah. But we ain't doing that. Maybe you're not. At least not for a very high price. How much? One one snickel? At least 1K. $1,000 to butt chug it? Yeah. Are we doing that on stream? Well, I don't think we can. For I could do it. We shouldn't be able to show the actual... But this is probably the end, right? Yep. Okay. Yep. That's a big board. Big boards coming through. When I was a chef, we had this food runner who would eat anything for free. Raw shrimp veins on a cracker, raw beef fat. Oh, oh. that's disgusting. Oof. That's real gross. Got to go to the Pornhub for that one. Wow. Man, butt chugs ranch marinara and Chick Fil A sauce. <laughs> oh Lord! I'm just saying that it's on the table, you know. I'm not gonna rule it out. <sighs> Kerwitz, the only one who's who's in for it. This summer heat is killing me. I do declare. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, Utah is definitely not the part of the South. I'm a mulligan this hand. Oh yeah, we're keeping that one. Get rid of the seven drop. Sunny D will burn your throat. I don't think it's part of their marketing. <laughs> if I asked the raid question, would everyone throw tomatoes at me? No, I think you can ask one raid question. Don't do it. One raid question per hour. That's the limit. I never read that far. To, you know, I never got to the butt chugging section. Uh, you can buy alcohol, just not like hard alcohol. So like beer is fine, but you can't buy like liquor. That's weird. I've, I did not know that. 
Yeah, we had a whole talk about it once. Who? We talked about it on the stream. I was never there. Well, you actually were, because I don't stream without you. Disagree. So. Yeah, it's a dry state, yeah. How much would it cost to eat Captain Crunch with Sunny D instead of milk? I... I'd do it. Ugh. That's not the question, though. How much? Like a hundred bucks. <laughs> so Mike's, Mike's answer is a hundred bucks. hundred bucks? Like, drink all these sauces? hundred bucks. Shave my head? Well, I'm trying to keep bucks. it reasonable. I don't know. I'm not going to ask for too much. Doesn't matter. Y'all ain't giving any money anyway. Y'all don't drink, though? No, I drink, but not often. Not a lot. I'm like a social drinker five. usually, or I'll drink sometimes for the stream for the for the lols, but not really a drinker per se. My name's not Percy. I feel like if Mike snores the sauce, we will need another donation drive for him to get medical attention. Nah, man, I'll be fine. He won't be. He's never been fine in his life. That will cut your mouth and burn your throat. Yikes, wow. Go and just ask your question, man. As long as it's not super complicated. It's old Kooji. Or text me about it if you want. Or Facebook message or whatever. There's also a whole Discord we have devoted to Raid, so you could also ask it there. There's people that know more than I do about that game in there. No, there's not. <coughs> Never had to knock on wood. Land. It's not a land, but that's the life we've chosen. I've got one raid question, one magic question. How come sometimes progress missions you come across will be complete... They have already done, and sometimes they won't be already done if you've already did them. I have no idea. <laughs> I think it's a really silly that that is a thing. It's very weird. I don't know how or why that works that way. I assume it's just to get the, you to play the game more. And potentially make you spend money. Oh, it's a cudgel troll. You're a cudgel troll. What? You're a cudgel troll. Don't be rude. Why not? Just don't. Oh, in that case, sure. Sure what? Sure I won't. Okay. Magic question. Frank, what what case do you recommend carrying your cube in? I'm working on a Magic the Gathering uncube. I mean, I just went through Aaron Kane, uh, who makes amazing deck boxes. So that's, I mean, like, I can't, I can't actually recommend something other than that because I have no idea. But if you want to, if you're, if you're taking it seriously, like, I would definitely uh, message Aaron Kane or check out his Facebook page. Yeah, they're sweet. And see what he has because they're, they're insanely high quality. Yeah, like super dope too. One, two, three, four, five, six. Never had to knock on wood, though, you know. Kane, C A I N. So neither of those. Like Michael Kane. Yes. Correct. Yes, that's the guy that made the the wooden deck box. He's the one that made mine. Never had Kane is very able. Wow. Solid reference. Yep. We were in Aaron Kane box for Elk Tears Cube. It was absolutely beautiful. Nice. 
Yeah. I saw that guy. It looked great. But I do. Ba -do, 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 -do. Oh man, they just got rid of my troll. That's messed up. Two, three. Have you checked to see where game stores are in Denver? Not really, because going to game stores isn't really a thing right now. Yeah, like I, I, I would be like, well, I hope I can go here in four months. Right, exactly. Yeah, I definitely don't see myself going to any game stores in Denver in the immediate future. Especially because of Katie. And even if not, like I still wouldn't really feel comfortable doing that. It just seems like a terrible idea. <clears throat> what are you doing, man? What's happening? Just getting my dailies. Your dailies. So if we alpha here, three five on three three, we regenerate two three. I don't think you need to go anywhere for a long time, Elo. Yeah. True debt. Uh, we're gonna be in Aurora, so I don't know if that helps. I am not looking forward to commuting again, but that's life. Especially because it might just randomly snow all the time. <laughs> Get good, scrub. How could I? You know what? Never mind. <laughs> I don't understand. What does this guy do? Whenever a creature creature attacks, sure, I'm just going to attack with this arbor back. Arbor back. I want my arbor back, arbor back, arbor back, arbor back. Julie's arbor back sauce. Julie's arbor back sauce, arbor back sauce. Okay, so if they don't block this guy, they just choose to block like here, and here they take one, two, three, five. Then they can sack a dude. You know what? I've saved so much money during the quarantine by not driving anywhere. I'm almost not looking forward to gassing up my v8 truck again well yeah if a truck gas is pretty expensive i got a prius so same i basically lost how the interview go uh, i crushed it not close i had a great recommendation though to be fair so did you wear the glasses i did not wear the glasses i know he messed up did I mess up? Do you think getting the job that pays way more than I thought is messed up? Yeah. You could have made 50 cents more an hour if you made the joke with the glasses. Mike B's baby back cribs. Baby back cribs? Huh. Barbecue sauce. <laughs> <sighs> Oh, we win the match. Good games. Oh, wait, Katie, you actually were in the hailstorm? Whoa. Was... All right, Dan says, Honesty Stream, this is a very serious question I have. Do you think the Triomes are an auto-include in Vintage Cube? The idea of having a fetch land to be able to get, in theory, all five colors of mana seems insane, but also lands that will always come to play tapped in a Vintage Cube setting seems rough. Would love to know your thoughts regardless I'd love to know what carry cards you think are auto-includes in Vintage Cube now that you play the set. So I'm getting this new... Matt, can you finish the, the sentence? Matt, what you're not realizing is that <laughs> Twitch cuts you off at a certain point. It says getting this new, and then that's There's, the end of it. That's the end of it. You got to keep going, buddy. You got to finish the sentence. Um, Matt, I actually personally... I was actually going to say, Dan's, <clears throat> I'm really impressed with your, um, with your Vintage Cube prowess. It's 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 clear that you guys have been playing a ton of magic because that is a very insightful question. Um I personally like the triumphs in Vintage Q. I think they're good. Three colors is awesome. Um I also think it depends on how likely Well, it's weird because it makes all the fetch lands so much better, right? Because if I have a Sultai 
Triome, right? And I'm playing... Uh, if I'm just playing blue-black and I have a Salt Eye Triome, I can literally just take a, a wooded, uh, wooded Foothills, right? I can... If I'm playing a blue-black deck, <clears throat> it lets me play Wooded Foothills as a fetch land to go get, like, uh, the, like, the Salt Eye Triome, right? Because it, it lets you... It lets fetch lands that wouldn't even be relevant to you be relevant to you. I actually think they're really good. Okay, here's my argument. Getting this new Iron Cane cube box has inspired me to make updates to my vintage cube. By the way, this is Alcatraz. My phone died. Okay. <laughs> nice. I think vintage cube might be too fast for a coming to play tap land. I think that might be a real problem. Really? Because then they have creature lands, Michael. Yeah, but those provide a certain unique utility. So do, so do try lands. I guess they do cycle. And they let you cast your spells. I don't know if you've heard about this. Yeah. I think they're okay, but you probably don't want like more than one. It's Vintage Cube. You can only have one, one of every card, Mike. I mean, like, you don't want two different Triumphs in your deck, I don't think. Really? I don't want to see it, but coming to play tap can be very detrimental. So here's one of the best parts about Vintage Cube, is that you can try it, and if you don't like it, you could take them out. Right, exactly, yeah. I don't think there's any downside to But trying. I think they're very good. Also, it competes with how many lands are going to be in your cube, too. Well, yeah, you probably have to, to cut some in order to... But, um, yeah, I do like those. I have not looked at what cards I'd want to put in the Vintage Cube, though. What land cycle do you think the Triumphs would replace? That's a good question. Yeah, that's really hard to it say. It depends on what you have. What do you have? I know mine has <clears throat> Fetch, Check, uh, Dual, Shock, Fetch, Dual, Shock, Check, and, and um, Creature Lands. I played all five in Ramos Commander last night, and they were great. Yeah, Commander's a much different format, though. It's way less powered than, for the mo mostly, than Vintage Cube is. You have a lot more time in Commander. You can try them before you buy them. Hmm. Nice. <laughs> Brett with the oh, timely pun. Fetch, check, creature, dual shock. So basically the same. Just basically, we have the same, uh, the same configuration then. What's checks? Uh, like glacial fortress and stuff. Oh, like they have. To, oh, they have to check if you have that ba that type yes. of land. Yeah. Okay. Wow, that was rude. My it was a little rude, yeah. Rude. Just like me not asking for a drink. Yeah, all you do is <clears throat> you're just a fucking hater, man. I ask you like ninety percent of the time I go up. I just didn't this one time. Okay. It's the one time I wanted something, Michael. Stop thinking about only yourself. I can't. I know. Because it's my birthday. It I'm is done with all my... Mostly all my raid stuff. Now I just have to let the game sit there and collect my rewards. <laughs> There's your sneeze for this draft, guys. Just in case you were looking for it. I think Katie's gone. I don't think she's here anymore. I think she was packing. Shit, she's packing? What do you think of... The, oh, yeah, she's strapped, bruh. Dang. What do you think of the worst rare dual lands? Worst rare dual lands. Not a fan of this, the two color coming to play tab. Butter roll my biscuits. I think those ones are not strong enough, personally. I don't think they're strong enough. Got them. I'm crossing animals. Nice. <laughs> I love that you call it that. The BFZ lands for sure. Which ones I are hate those? The, I hate those lands. Which ones were those? The fast lands. Oh, the ones that are. You know. And like if you have three or more lands that come to play tapped? Yes. No, three or three or fewer lands. Right, that's what I meant. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, those are only generally good in like super fast combo decks. Oh. Hello, Frank and Mike. Eating some sushi at break at job two. Was listening to new podcasts. Pretty sweet. Good to hear from Soul Mike. Nice. Yeah, they're grinding with them two jobs. <clears throat> Real question, which basics are you using? That is very important. Um, just They're just full art Zendikar lands, unfortunately. I think as long as they're cool Cause, ones, you're fine. Because I have to have like 32 of each, <clears throat> so I didn't feel like... I have 20 of each on Hinge Land for my regular constructed decks, but... You can in three switch that, but then you have to buy 12 more, and they're pretty pricey these days. 
Right, and I also yeah. rather use them on like constructed cards than. My name's Michael B. Also, the Good Shadows goodness. Showlands are terrible. I don't know what those ones are. <clears throat> I'm just having a good old time. Oh, do you mean when the ones were like, oh, you have to reveal a fairy for it to come into play untapped? Is that the one you're talking about? No, like Port uh, port Town, the ones where you have to reveal a plains or a an island for them. Oh, okay. Biscuits. How many counters do you think they got? One or two. I have a theme for my basics. They're all from Odyssey Block, and they all have super photo reels to guard. Yeah, uh, Odyssey Block has great, great basics. Bring out the great oak guardian. You got it. Now I'm going to worm you. The planes with the lightning bolt was by far the hardest to find. Yeah, those ones are pretty sought off there. <clears throat> oh, I like that guy too. One, two, three, four, five, six, they seven, eight, cool nine. We have ten mana. I feel like it still might be warm here. No, it's definitely this guy, right? Just put the fatty on the board and call it a day. Michael, they're both fatties. That's the entire <clears throat> point of Yeah, Mike. but this fatty got hexproof, boy! But this one is a bigger fatty, so if you're calling something a fatty... Yeah, but he, he attack and protect, you know what I'm saying? So does this. What are you talking about? He can die, though. <laughs> That's rude. He can die. <laughs> Cards are really obnoxious, especially when I have. Oh, we have back for more. We can back for more Great Oak Guardian, which will fight something Frank, and give this guy plus two plus two. Frank, I know you hate this, but I'm thinking you're gonna make my cube 540 cube for from a 360 cube. Really want to make room for Storm. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> it's just monogram. Storm is just like it's so awkward because none of the cards in Storm are good for any other archetypes, except for maybe like. Uh, dark ritual maybe in certain very certain niche decks but otherwise they're dead cards and at the same time like playing against storm is miserable and just unfun if you're not playing counter spells you literally just concede to them if they have a decent hand My name's Michael I know but I love it yeah but like you're you're probably like that's being selfish because I think for the most part you're probably ruining the experience of I, other yeah people. I feel like you're in the, the minority One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven mana. Like, unlike, like, reanimator and stuff, like, those decks, like, certain decks might still want to pick up, like, a reanimate spell, and it kind of, like, still has synergy. As a Storm, is literally just like, if you're not playing Storm, this is just a, a card that everyone passes. A card everyone passes. Every good cube should have Storm pieces and original arts as borders. Oh, hard disagree. Next storm is absolutely. Snap miserable. disagree with you. It's unfun. Like it's only fun for the play person playing storm. There's no interaction outside of counter spells. Okay. Like I love storm as a legacy deck, but that's a different format. Only storm in my cube is thousand year storm. Well, that's different. Like thousand year storm, you have to like you have to get six mana and then uh, then combo out. Like it's you have to earn that. Katie's crossing animals. I don't like Storm because I'm not good enough to build or pilot it. It's just practice. It's not really that hard to play Storm. Man, what are we talking about? We talk about practice. <laughs> Man, we talk about practice. We talk about the game. We talk about practice. And I'll fight to the death. You're right to have it. <laughs> I mean, hey, it's your cube. Ultimately, it's your decision. Talk about practice. But I, I, I also don't like cubes that are 540 because it... Even if you want to shove Storm into your cube, then that makes space. That's great. But at the same time, like, by making it 540, it's actually harder for you to get the Storm deck. So. Mm. 
Yikes. Oof. Storm is only Storm only, only seems hard if you've never played it before. It's really pretty simple. Yeah, Storm is actually You just, you just count to 10. Like that's all you got to do. You count, you make your Storm count 10 and you win. You nine Storm count, your last card is a Storm card, you win. Assuming you're playing Tendrils. If it's Brain Freeze, you count to what is it? Uh I just think anyone feels good when they lose to Storm. You're just like, all right, well. Yeah, it doesn't cool. feel like you earned your. It doesn't feel like your opponent earned a victory. They're like my like, my biggest the the the, fun, the funnest thing for me when playing Cube is like being able to interact with all these powerful cards and spells and things. Like unless you have Counter Magic, there's nothing you can do. And on top of that, some Counter Magic doesn't even work. And usually the Cube supports Hand Disruption, so that also might not work. So like, okay, what do we get back here? Vampire or? Great Oki Boy, probably Vampire. Are you okay? Yeah. Do you want me to call your dad? Good luck. Mike, what are his wing shards? Go for it. That's the one that makes them sack creatures, wing shards? Yes. For each spell you can. You can also do the one that gets you lands. That's cool. <laughs> No, it's not. It's kind of like playing cycling. Yeah, it has a very similar feel to playing against cycling in, in the current draft format. Like, you just don't really interact. I kind of like Chinese because they have a ton of creatures, but... Uh, your aggro start has to be really good to, to beat Storm. Like, it doesn't take that much for Storm to win. Maybe yours does. Did you see me go? The problem is, like, the control decks have to compete with your hand disruption, and they have to try to find their own, and they have to have counter magic, and, like, it's just, I don't know. They also have to vote, devote a certain portion of their deck to creature removal, so they're all, you're always going to have an advantage of the storm deck, mostly, unless they have, like, the nut control deck with infinite counters. If you want to solve a puzzle by yourself, don't make me watch. No, I got this, man. I want to do it. I want to solve it. All right, man. You do what you got to do, I guess. You joke, but there was a land storm deck in Popper ages ago that was built around that storm card that just get lands. So, yeah, what do you do with them then? I'm curious what the finisher is. Never heard of that. I never heard of that. I'm going to keep it. What am I going to do with the Yog Will and Time Spiral about last year? Time Spiral is certainly still running in other combo decks. I mean, you could just not play him. What is Yog? No, Yog Will ain't going anything else, man. I said Time Spiral, not Yog Will. That's not going anything else. What else is that going in? You could easily jam it into Reanimator. Time Spiral? Yeah. It shuffles your reanimate threats in the deck. Oh, uh, I forgot about that part. <laughs> I forgot about the part that contradicts my entire strategy. My bad. Use it for your commander games. No, how much are... What are they going for? What's Yogwell and Time Spiral go for? I know Yogwell is about 70 last time I checked, but that was like a month ago. Um, time Spirals are just shy of 100, right? Holy shit, do I have those cards? I wouldn't be surprised if Spiral went up, though. Like 120? Yeah, that makes sense. I wanted to pick one up for Commander, and then I checked the price, and I was like, nope. I'm just playing 5-5 five, five here. Seems good on turn 3, right? Oh, his Yogwheel jumped as well? Yeah, that was a few months ago when I checked. You can get a Yogwheel on TCG player for like let's see what lightly played for like 84 it's not okay bad. so I was about right time spiral the weather outside is weather time spiral is about 100 lightly played okay out here's just adding on 20 bucks unless you're trying to buy like a nice version I guess 
I got a moderate plate LED for 150, Papa Bless. Oh, they didn't do anything and we just got to swing for five? That's pretty cool. <clears throat> I wonder if LED is going to go down a little bit because of the lower span. Oh, guess, you're going by near mint? Over light why, why would you go by near mint prices? Literally no one's going by near mint, my dude. Are you, are you buying near mint copies for your cube? That seems weird because people are going to be playing with dude, it. Dude, I can't tell the difference between a lightly played and a near mint copy, I'm going to be honest with you. Most times, yeah, no. When I sell cards, even if they're near mint, I just default to listing as lightly played just because I don't want to argue Unless it's like someone. something, you, unless you want, it's something you want to get graded. Like, that's the only other case. Oh, they're going to, they're going to double shoot this guy. Come on, Palaka Worm. I always buy near mint. I know I have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> that's weird. I just feel like the distinction is definitely not worth the price like what, increase. What value do you get out of that? Like you're pro if you're playing with them in a cube, you're not going to be able to keep them near mint. So like you're not going to make your money well, back. Sleeves. It's, he's probably double sleeving them too. I imagine. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Ugh, that's unfortunate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we can actually go back for more fight. He does this double guy. sleeve. Okay. That's a little better. Yeah, if you're buying it as a collection piece and you're not playing with it, yeah, near mint. Yeah, that makes sense. But oh, the out But as Frank so mentioned, like buckles. the difference between lightly played and near mint, like is usually hard to see by the eye. One, two, three. So we can do this. some good bean water. It's the first of the month. Wake up, wake up, wake up. The thing is, my vintage cube is basically my MTG collection. Fair enough. Right, but I would still, I would still be fine with having a, a lightly played Yogmots in my collection over a near mint Yogmots in my <clears> collection. Like, I don't, that's not going to be a super deal breaker. Yeah, when you me. can save like thirty bucks on a card, like that's that's kind of a lot. Especially because when you resell it, you're probably not going to be able to resell it at near mint. You know, you're going to resell it at lightly played because you're either going to have cubed with it and maybe it gets like a ding on the corner, or like, you know, just just shuffling and playing uh, experience, you know? So it's like, I'd rather just buy lightly played and sell it lightly played than buy near mint and sell lightly played. Because unless, if you're keeping it for yourself and never planning on selling it ever, then sure. Well, no. Then I'm gonna say it doesn't. Then it, then it doesn't matter because it's not. It's just for you. So it might as well be a, a lightly played. But I mean, again, it's you. It's your preference, right? So. You do you, baby. You do you. I think if the companions, I don't know. Companions are also weird in cube because, like, I feel like if you don't just get them. Wow, this is this early. Is rule. Yeah, if you don't get them early, it's like. Oh, I, I opened a Luris in pack three and I just can't really use it. Or right, like yeah. I opened a, a Yorion. Well, yeah, Yorion's even hard too because you just have like not enough. Luris might be strong enough to make it into your cube. Just the interaction with power, but. Now you're interacting with power. I feel like they're going to have to crack this soon. About to play some Comball, Commander. Comball? Oh. oh, man, that guy's miserable. I hate that Commander. <laughs> because all my decks are usually focused around spells and not creatures. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm listening. I pulled a 4 alerts today, rip. <clears throat> yeah, they're not worth that much anymore, right? They tanked, I think. Don't be a land. 16 lands in my deck. Sure. Regardless of Storm, I kind of want to go 540 just to add more cards I love and add more variants to the draft. Yeah, it certainly makes it easier. It can be hard to cut down to 3-whatever. Three 360? I don't remember the exact number. This guy seems hard for the red-blue deck to deal with. 
Especially when they're already taking one a turn from this guy. I got floaty boy. Are we two owing? F Camball. I gave my Camball deck to a friend. Felt terrible playing it. Yeah, it's just like it's so annoying to play against. Like you play a spell. Oh, you're gonna take two. I'm wondering if there's a way to shuffle to make sure combo pieces get seated. If there is a way to shuffle to make sure of that, then you're not randomizing your deck. Then you've definitely found a way to shuffle that is deliberately uh, predetermining. It's called cheating, it's Matt. Right. That's. <laughs> You're basically saying is I wonder if there's a way I can organize my cube in such a way that I can just hand packs out that are preceded. Minus four fifty and seems perfect. So how many packs is that? Four fifty? I don't want to do the math. Camball oh. is less annoying than Ristic Study. Oh, that's good. Yeah, but Ristic Study doesn't kill you. I mean it kind of does in the long run, but One of my opponents is playing slivers. I don't feel bad. Well, you shouldn't because he's not going to play any non-creatures and he's just going to stomp you with a bunch of slivers. <laughs> Assuming they have a good slivers deck. The only problem that deck has is the old too many rats in Commander. Too many rats? Yeah. Rats. Rats off, team, Michael. A friend of mine likes to prepare God Pack for his cube. What, like, specifically make the packs nuts? That's weird. We watching a soda after this? I'd be down. A soda? Yeah, we watching a soda? You want to watch me pour a soda very slowly? Over the course of several hours? Jesus, God, no. That sounds... No. Your loss. Definitely not my loss. And that's what you say now. Wait uh, until you, you get all the hype. What hype? I don't know, man. This is a bad joke. <laughs> You're the ones continuing it. You ain't got to apologize about typos on the internet, man. Don't worry about it. Dude playing Sliver Queen just said in chat he can go infinite with his hand. I assume he probably needs a spell to go infinite there. You might actually be good if you can get your cam ball down early enough. This is an interesting choice. I mean, I'm, I, they have to have a follow-up, right? But I guess I can regenerate again. So then I gotta have two follow-ups. I hate Commander, but my friends keep wanting me to come over and play. So I threw together the most gaudy, expensive promo-filled, ugly 14. I don't know if 14 is there. Turn 1-2 kills deck I could throw together from my junk boxes. Now I played once. Hopefully I won't give it again. So, you didn't want to play, but you came over and made them have a terrible time. <laughs> no, it didn't happen yet. Oh. Okay, so they didn't have a way to kill? They just fire spout and hoping like I wouldn't regenerate? It just seems like you just tell them you don't want to go, because you're just going to make them have a bad time, right? Unless they agree to that power level. Also, you're breaking the social contract by doing that. That's pretty, pretty BM, to be honest. Impossible tacos, nice. Dude, I had an impo I had a Beyond Burger yesterday that I got, and I cooked it up on an open flame, and I had a Beyond Sausage yesterday, the the original brat. They were both fucking so good, dude. I also had one of the Beyond Sausages. It was really good. Like, I really couldn't tell the difference between that and my other sausages. It was banging. I'm pretty sure it's actually just meat, and they found a way to charge people twice as much for it <laughs> it's just not it's just not it's actually real meat <coughs> so four to this and three to my dome or six to my dome i guess sure my dome my dome i guess you get in there for six yeah that's aggressive it's okay we're gonna draw that big tree bitch right now ready i actually quite love beyond burgers and i'm a meditarian yeah like they're really hard to tell the difference like, again, those things, like, I feel like if you didn't tell someone and gave them one, they would have no idea it wasn't a genuine burger. Have a good night, Mark. Mark, take it easy, buddy. Enjoy your D&D, &D, my dude.
guy getting in there for six? Oof. Well, they gotta have silent departure eventually, so I'm pretty sure they're gonna hit it here and bounce this guy. I guess they got 13 cards. I'd still put bacon on mine. Well, that does ruin the point. Okay, that's pretty good. I think we're just gonna lose this Enigma Drake now, actually. Feels like they've assembled their combo. Yeah. Cone of Flame. So this is eight, nine, ten. Cool. Yeah, I believe this. We go to one? Or are we dead? No, we're fucking dead. Okay. Cool. <sighs> Must be nice. No, I meant like if you're going to eat a Beyond Burger to then put bacon on it, it's just kind of like... Oh, you mean if you prefer like the Beyond Meat to a regular burger and then put bacon on it? You know, do what you want. It's whatever, but... What is a Beyond Burger and where do I find one? Uh, they sell them in a lot of um, grocery stores these days. They're like... Uh, it's like fake meat. Like plant-based meat. Whatever They're you want to call meat. it. fake meat. But it's very good and it tastes very much like a real burger. I'm not a vegetarian either, and I really like Impossible Beyond Meat. It's Dan's now. Welcome back, Dan's. When I moved to California, I found uh, LGC, who's, I think, LGS, I think you mean, whose main preferred format is Commander, and I was really excited because I'm, it's my favorite format and a good way to make some new friends, but everybody played nothing but Degenerate Infinite Combo decks. It turned me off so bad and made me frustrated I sold all my cards. Dang. They hated you out of magic. Yeah, that is weird if your whole store is devoted to Commander and all they play is Degenerate decks. There's no regular casual decks. I feel like it doesn't ruin it if you are still supporting the Beyond Company. Add whatever else you want to it. I guess that's true. You're still consuming less meat than you would be if you had a bacon, regular bacon cheeseburger or whatever. A regular bacon. <laughs> Give me one regular bacon, Jimmy. Beyond Meat is good. Tons of carbs, though. Gotta live that keto lifestyle. Yeah, I mean, if you're on keto, then what are you gonna do? I mean, if you're if you're having like burgers and and lettuce wraps, then you're already probably making sacrifices. So, I wish Burger King had smaller Impossible. I wish Burger King. I wish you could just put Burger Impossible uppers on other things. Yeah, like if you just get a regular cheeseburger. With yeah, or like um. I think the, the patty size is the issue, though. The Big King. Right, that's why I mean they want a smaller... The Big King? Yeah, it's that? like the Big Mac, but it's Burger oh, King. Oh, I know what you're talking about, yeah. Those so are like, decent. Oh, they don't make those with Impossible? No. You can't, like... I've ask. never asked. I would ask. You probably can. They but, probably try Yeah, but more. they probably use regular cheeseburgers, not Whoppers. Whoppers are different patties because they're so much bigger. No, I'm pretty sure the Big King is a style of a Whopper. I'm pretty sure you use the, you use the larger Padgies. Uh, Padgies? Padgies. Oh, my little Padgies! Like, I'm almost like 100% on that. I don't think so. Let's look it up. Okay. Because it also... Like, they also have the Bacon King, which is also a Whopper. Man, where's my fucking black man up in this piece? Had a ch I tried a Burger King Impossible Whopper, hated it, but then I hate regular Whoppers, tasted just like one. Well, that's kind of the point. If you don't like Whoppers, then of course you're not going to like it. Yeah, that's a weird thing to... <laughs> the point is to try to taste exactly like a regular patty. Oh, a little patty. First off, normal burgers are keto as long as there's no bun. Well, yeah, that's what we... Right. That's He said lettuce wraps. That's what he meant. Because you generally don't want to just eat with a fork. You kind of still want to, like a burger experience. I mean, you can eat whatever you want, That's I why guess, I said but... you're already making sacrifices because you're not eating a bun, so... Well, that's interesting. One, two, three, four, five. They nailed the flavor, though, was my point. Okay, fair enough. Oh, I just want to go... This guy. I've been to one BK and watched a drug deal in the parking lot. Haven't been back since. 
Well, it's it's a fast food place, man. There's going to be bad areas. That seems like weird to not go to a restaurant because the chain ha- had a drug deal in it once. Like, do you think all Burger, do you think yeah. all Burger King has drug deals in the, like that's not? I'll never support. That's, that's really Burger weird. Kings. It's also not Burger King. I'm sure they don't want people doing that. I don't think he's no, but I don't think he's shaming Burger King. I just think he hasn't gone back to that Burger King. Oh, if you mean that, then yeah, I probably fine. wouldn't either because because that just, seems like a like you might get you're shot. You're clearly in a sketch area. Drugs come with Happy Meals, actually. Didn't uh, they don't actually have Happy Meals at Burger King, buddy? That is a McDonald's property. I worked at Burger King for five years, haven't eaten there since. Well, that makes sense. I knew a guy who used to sell weed out of the Wendy's drive thru. Dang, that is. That's epic. Do we think they have a counter spell? I wouldn't buy drugs from anywhere but Burger King. Who re- Some Arby's people, man. No class. Wow. Who ready for Luigi's dream? <laughs> man, Del Taco it kills it with these meat substitutes. I love the Del Taco. Yeah, the Del Taco ones are great. Really enough, Del Taco, when they use regular meat, not really a huge fan. But I like their impossible meat. That's impossible. Their chicken's okay. I mean, if we get our opponent to one and lose, I'm going to be real sad that I didn't. I put mushrooms in my taco to game changer. Well, oh, uh, I love mushrooms, and I don't know about that. That seems weird. But I've never tried it, to be fair. It's the first of the month. What are you going to do about it? I want to wake up. Nice. All right, so this deal's four. Sure. Oh, that's great. Palaka worm coming on, coming on hot. When I go to Taco Bell, I order the 10 taco family meal then proceed to sit down and eat it solo. Well, it actually comes with 12 tacos, and I know this because I've done the same thing. Jesus, God. Their tacos are kind of small, though. Still, it's not reasonable to eat that many tacos, but... I have done it once or twice. So we just gained eight life this turn. That's pretty cool. Seems uh, pretty good against the... Uh, so as long as we deck. can resolve this next turn, we win. Plus we have Trampler here. Yeah, yeah I have no idea guys. how they're going to win this game. This seems like a win. Are we going to 3-0? Oh, man. 2-0 again. 2-0 again, boys. I think I want something else other than Elder. Maybe this member. Which member? I've not finished the 12 taco pack in a group of four people, Mike. Well, that just seems like you guys are little babies. What is that, three tacos each? Three Taco Bell tacos? That's like, man. That's not really a good amount of food. Like, they're very small. There's very little meat in them. Not that I don't like them. Unless you're talking about from a legit restaurant with real tacos, then yeah, that's reasonable. <clears throat> also, Jimmy, that sounds real good. Chorizo and potato hash. Very good breakfast combo. I'm offended that USA's family meal has 12 tacos. Ours only has 10. And you guys are getting ripped off. Oh, that's amazing. Try eating five beef and potato burritos in a row. That sounds pretty hard to do. Oh, do you better knock it off. 
Hey Mike, on your stream, two carries. Uh, Yokito Taco Bell. I like Taco Bell. Yeah, I I like Taco Bell too. Taco Bell. My name is Michael, and I live in the trash can. Taco Bell, trash can man. That's what they call me. Oh, what up, Bell Ron Scrubber? I mean, I saw you. I saw you earlier, but you'll never want to eat burritos again. Doubt it. Wait, when? After I mean, eating five burritos in a row. Yeah, I mean, I won't want to eat them that night, or probably even in the next couple of days. But never also, again, please. As much as a, a savage as I am, I would never eat five burritos. That's kind of crazy. Unless you guys are paying them. Oh god, I was really hoping these were all that. That's don't bring that up. We don't need me to eat five burritos. Five burritos, guys. Can they be Taco Bell chicken burritos that are kind of small? No, they're going to be the burritos from that place in Seattle that has the monster burritos. <laughs> that would be physically impossible. Dude, I could barely get through one, and it's me, dude. It's me, dude. Oh, wow, look at this hand. I mean... Speaking of food, like, I'm not even hungry yet, man. Why would you be? We ate, like, three hours ago. If that. No, we ate around, for... like, three o'clock. No... Yes, I got back at about three o'clock. Guess who's back? <laughs> Michael's land, 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 land. Yes, we're doing it. The dream is so real right now. I remember when Mike revealed to us the life hack of not eating your entire pizza in one go so you could have more the next day. I remember when Mike was like almost 30 years old when he first figured that out. It's true. Green forest, forest. When Chipotle first opened around me, a coworker ate four burritos in one sitting. They gave him a shirt that said "unburritable." Wow, four Chipotle burritos—that is a lot of food. Chipotle burritos are pretty sizable. I've never eaten two. Me neither. After after I can barely finish after one, one and some chips, I'm like, wow, that's a good amount of food. I am good. These cards are so, like, it's so ridiculous. Like, how do you beat this 6-7 hexproof creature? I guess that sentence wasn't great. Speaking of food, we weren't. I'm not even, I mean, I'm not hungry. <laughs> I can't even finish one burrito from Chipotle. It's totally fair. I've crushed two Chipotle burritos in one sitting. God damn. God damn. I guess we're getting rid of Plock or Moore's Law Basilica. Sure. Crunch on in. Crunch on in. Look at that little guy. Jerk chicken, chicken tacos? Oh, that does sound really good. Jerk chicken is delicious. Jerk chicken. Why do you taste so good? It's really hoping for a removal spell there, but... Never been to Chipotle? It's pretty good. Trade with me. Please don't jerk your chicken on stream. Wow. Wow, what? Why did they... They got barter in blood? Oh, man, part of the blood would be real good here. Happy birthday, Mutual. Thanks, House of Shadows. It means a lot. That's also good. Hey, Frank, have you tried Jeskai or Mardu in this cube yet? Um, I don't think so. Super cool. Eight lands to f six spells. 60 lands in the deck. <sighs> That's <coughs> exhausting. Cool. Must be nice to draw a solid mix of lands and spells. Personally wouldn't know about it, but alright. After finding out Chipotle served tainted meat on purpose, they made the re that maybe the reason I could eat more than one burrito. That seems interesting. I've never heard about that. Yeah, I've never heard about that either. 
I know they've had trouble times where they couldn't serve a kind of meat because like they it was like bad or whatever and they had to replace it, but I don't I don't hear them ever doing it on purpose. Yeah, that's a weird claim. And I don't think companies are going to try to get people that sick on purpose. That seems really bad in the long run because they can get sued and stuff. <laughs> yes, you can, you liar. Oh, that's pretty funny. Let that dude flip. $25 million lawsuit? Well, yeah, but I still have trouble believing they did it on purpose. And if they did, that's really stupid. Yeah, they like probably, just being a lawsuit doesn't mean it's deliberate, right? Like, is that does that prove that it was deliberate? I don't think it does. Also, like, almost every chain company has had a point where they've served bad food. Like, it, it's just kind of a numbers game. Grandma played the numbers. They don't do it on purpose. The reason their food and poultry sometimes has issues is because it's usually locally sourced. Right, so it's like less sterilized or whatever. Sterilized? What does that mean? What does that mean? It's when you stare into their eyes. Sterilize. The fresh maker. Like, if you go to any fast food place, you're probably risking salmonella every time, technically. Why did they untap the land? Because it was cool. Hey, Hunter. It doesn't seem very cool. Sitting on me? That's okay. There you go. Look at me. Look with your stare eyes. Jesus, this is wild. All right. It was against their corporate office, not local. They had knowledge of it beforehand. Okay. I can kill Kiora. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to do that. Grandma played the numbers. Seems good. One, two, three. Yep, we'll just pass here. Take four. I mean, from what the article I just read about it, it had to do with like not training employees properly about food safety. So I'd love to see an article with proof that they did it on purpose. Yeah, I still think saying they did it on purpose is just a weird claim that I don't think is accurate. Yeah, it feels kind of conspiracy unless you have proof of that. I mean, I only read an article to be fair, but. But I mean, like to be like, oh, let's let's make the food poison. <laughs> right? Like, why would they ever do that? Like, that, that seems no like sense. that seems ridiculous.
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm not arguing that it didn't happen. I'm just arguing that they did it on purpose. That just seems like a a literal Doctor Evil thing. <laughs> Surprise! Grandma played the numbers. Gonna eat your little shit birds. So put them in the garbage can. Oh, you're gonna play a big boy. Oh, it's a big boy indeed. Regrowth. Regrowth? Regrowth Abzan charm. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, one. Now we're one shy of doing everything. Nine. Five, Should have saved up more, Jimmy. No, I don't want to save up Jimmy. I mean, Jimmy, I'm sorry. Thank you. Please call me by my, by my name. Please call me by my name. It's Jimmy Lum. I know. Oh, Jimmy Lum. Jimmy Lum? <laughs> I feel like we're winning this race, but let's see how many big fat fat boys they can slam every turn. Oh, that's a good one. Gotta get a fiver back. Probably just gonna get Ravenous Chupacabra and Necrotal. Soylent Mike is people. It's people. Are we talking about the people? <laughs> yeah, man. It's wild. Alright, so you're killing my tree? My oaken boy? Yeah, also one of the downsides to Chipotle being more fresh is like it's going to be a little more susceptible to that. It's going to be May. That's from Justin Timberlake. Thank you. You're welcome. I learned so much from you. I know. <laughs> kind of a big deal. <laughs> Please notice me. It's my, it's my disease. Putty. I know. Jimulum and Jimothy are my best friends. You and me both, buddy. Hope you land. Thanks for nothing. I'm glad I kind of get to hang out with Mike this Saturday night. Meh. What does that mean? I'm not that great. Oh, tonight. Yeah. Saturday night. Garbage day. <laughs> Have you ever actually watched that movie? No. Don't. It's bad. Well, I didn't, wasn't planning on it. It's just worth it to see the memes, and that's it. Oh, they're no longer attacking with the Vampire Nighthawk anymore, huh? Okay. Garbage day. Blam! Oh, wow. What is this? If you're not... Wow, why wouldn't you attack with this? If you got, like... You could just get Ravenous Chupacabra, kill this, and then you have, like, infinite blockers. This is fucking weird. What a terrible non-attack. I guess they're worried about their life total. Uh... At seven they go to nine they gain more life if they attack that uh, puts up a good blocker i don't know i don't know what they're worried about really it doesn't make a lot of sense it's the first of the mic garbage day Cool 10 9 with Annihilator. Fun well, times. They just keep hitting fucking bombs, so I guess we guess you guys just can't can't 3 out here. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash Frank or Patreon.com, Manatraders.com, and Cool Stuff Inc. I appreciate you guys. You can use the promo code Rat Train on Manatraders to get 20% off the first three months of any subscription. And you can find the link down below. Be sure to check that out. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.